Hey, good Friday morning to you. I'm Pastor Harold with today's Up With The Sun uh, for the 19th of April. We're going to pick up the middle here of Romans verse 8, or in chapter 8, verse 18. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory we, he will reveal to us later, for all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse, but with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation was, has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we, believers, also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us, as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he promised us. We were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't have yet, we must wait patiently and confidently. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. But the Holy Spirit prays for us with, that, with groan, groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are and are called according to his purposes for them for God knew his people in advance and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters and having chosen them he called them to come to him and having called them he gave them the right standing with him and having given them right standing he gave them his glory. So Paul here comes off the tables, uh, the tale of what we just saw last week, uh, that if we're living with God, with the Spirit, we're, we're, we die with Christ and we must suffer with Christ. And he's talking about our suffering is nothing compared to the glory we will receive later. Uh, I told my kids all the time, you're going to sacrifice sometime. You're going to sacrifice now or you're going to sacrifice then, but you're going to find a way that you're going to sacrifice something. And God is basically saying here, the suffering that you're suffering now is nothing compared to the glory that you'll receive later. It says that the whole world groans for God to go into the next phase here, to return with Christ again for a future glory. Even believers are groaning for this to happen. And as the, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness, he says... It interprets to God our our needs, our wants, our desires, and and believe in the pleads for the believers in harmony with God's own will. And then the next verses that most people know is Romans eight twenty eight, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. This is something that I talk to people a lot about prayer life. You have your desires here. You have God's desire for you here. When we pray and we're in Scripture, the two come closer. As they notice, God's doesn't move, but you move closer to God. The closer you are here, that you're not shaken, and your joy will become more. But the more we do our stuff and we pull away from God, the more turmoil, the more issues we have, and the joy fades. So... We want to ever get closer to God's purpose for us. And he says here that he'll give us right standing. And with right standing, he gives his glory. What an amazing thing. God wants us, to, as his adopted children, to have his glory. And he wants us to fulfill the life that he chose for us. But sometimes our sin nature gets in the way. And this is what Paul continues to talk about in Romans. That takes us away from God's purpose for us in our lives. So before I pray, I wanted to invite you guys, just like I always do, on Sunday, come out to the church, 2200 Glasgow Avenue in Newark, Delaware. If you're cl close by, we'd love to have you. 
if you don't have a church, but if you do have a church, please go to your church. And if you don't have the ability to get to church in any way, you can come watch us here online, uh, either Facebook or YouTube, and we'll be here this weekend. Uh, like we always are. But get into church. Get sharpened by other fellowship of believers. You're going to get in the fellowship of believers to help you get through this life. It just we, we strengthen numbers for this and it'll help you be recharged and rekindled so that you can get there. We, we talk about revival on Sunday, which is always said, we're telling people that starts with you. It starts with you individually before you can revive the church or revive anything else. You have to revive yourself as putting yourself back in God's control wholeheartedly all in for God start a revival in your own heart so I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to let you go for this weekend we'll pick back up on Monday if I don't see you sooner so let's pray Father God thank you again for this ability to be here and to talk to people and to tell people about your glory it's amazing how Paul continues to talk about that we are adopted children that you want us to be part of your kingdom and to be co-heirs with your son Jesus and also that you want us to show your you want to see Show us your glory uh, for each and every one of us. I ask you to have a, continue to put those heads of protection around us. We continue to travel. Uh, Lord, just be with us. I ask you to be there sick or grieving as we always lift them up to you by name. Uh, you know who they are, Lord. And I just love the fact that you've given us the Holy Spirit in, the, in our groaning and our hurting. And sometimes words cannot express, but the Holy Spirit will interpret that and bring it right to your ears. And you know our hearts and you know what we need. Lord, just ask that you continue to shape us and by showing us the next step to take to be more sanctified, to be more like Christ, to put us more closely in line with the path you have already laid out for us. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. With that, have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday if I don't see you Sunday. Bye-bye. God bless.